Good evening, everyone. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Thank you. So, um, I'm so happy to see the numbers 23. This is a super class. I think in these classes, I get most, I mean, maximum numbers. Otherwise, it is only limited to 10, 11, 15, maximum 17. <laughs> okay, so continue like this. I'm very happy about your interest. Let's begin today. Hmm? Today, I, I think, you know, um, sometimes I feel like rather taking you to read the transcription entirely of a word, we should practice the combination of consonant sounds and monophthongo, diphthong sounds that will help you to understand each and every sound better. Okay, so I'm trying to do that method now and let's see how it works. If that is working well, we'll stick on to that and then after one month only we will start reading the list of words like we were doing before. Otherwise, we may lose many uh, time, long time, because you don't remember everything at a stretch. I think so. Okay, so today I'm going to once explain once again what is monophthong and diphthong. I told you already that's a combination. With the help of monophthongs and diphthongs, we can change the sound. We can change any consonant sound. Huh? So can you now list out the alphabets from top to bottom, how I'm going to write now, okay? Small letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave all the vowel sounds crossing okay so now i'm going to write the phonetic symbol of every consonant sound you're going to see here you are seeing now here the symbols of the alphabets okay phonetic symbols of the alphabets always we write any phonetic symbol within a backward slash it is like this c has two variations sometimes it is s sometimes it is k you can write both Here is a change. We have been seeing the exact mode of an alphabet in these phonetic symbols. Okay. But here the thing is changing. It is writing like this. K is K always. Exactly like this. This one is Q. It's not Q. Quick. It's quick. R. S we have here and here with the C sound. T is the same. 
V is the same. Only difference is the lip movements. V and V. X and Z has differences in the phonetics. Okay, so I'm not writing it now. It has variations. The difference now we are going to see here is the Y sound or Y sound is written as this, which looks like a small letter J. That is the phonetic symbol of alphabet Y. Clear? Yes, ma'am. You write it down like this. So I hope when you write, you just write this in two different pages, in different pages. Okay, not in a one single page. I think if you have done that, kindly change it. Because we are going to do a lot of activities with that one. Every page we have to do a lot of activities. Finished? Let me know once you're done, okay? Done. Hmm? Okay. Yes, so just uh, let me move the screen for a bit. Today I am going to show you a few monophthong sounds that you will apply with these diphthong symbols. Now we are only going to consider these symbols. Okay. So the one we are going to learn is first one. Schwa. Second one, E. 
Third one, do you want U or O? Let's learn U and O. O can be written in two ways, like this and like this. Can we now see what is the difference this is making when this is given with, this is written with any consonant sound. Okay. So what is this list now considering now? Lynette, you tell me what is this list? One of thongs. One of thongs. Okay. So this is a uh. a uh. Nandana you tell me what is this sound Adikesh can you tell me what is the sound second sound e e can could you tell me what is the third sound What is the third sound? Can. Can, what are you doing there? Muhammad Salim, please tell me what is the fourth, third sound? Muhammad Salim, MA, are you listening to me? Abid, tell me what is the third sound you are seeing there? Respond. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can anyone hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Though they are pretending that they cannot hear. So, Muhammad Salim MA. Also, Ken Shibin and also Adikesh. Unmute. Ma'am. Ken Shibin. Unmute. Everybody unmute and respond. Ken Shibin, respond. What the hell he is doing there? Ma'am, my brother ma'am was disturbing me. So what? You think that you should not respond to my question? Should I touch your feet to answer me? You stupid. What do you think of yourself? You are not listening that I'm calling you 10 times? Stand up there. Stand up Ken. Stand up. Close the door. What the hell do you think about this class? You can do anything here, simply muting yourself and not responding to my calls. You are not leaving this class today. You will stand there till I say, Adikesh, where were you when I'm calling you? Am I responded? You did not respond. Mama, he said the second one. Mama, um, he said second one. Yeah, that's fine. That's it. admit. And where's the other person? Muhammad Salim. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing, man? You're just roaming around the home and just licking your lips. Everybody see what you're doing. 
so rubbish you tell me what is the word what is the sound i was asking you tell me mohammed salim the third one i am asking you what is the sound the third one i am circling here now tell me the sound my first problem i didn't hear sorry it. what are you doing there are you standing or sitting sitting tell me the sound no i didn't hear you that thing you will not hear because you i have found that you are walking in the room stand up stand up stay there vaishnavi tell me what is i am looking for um the sound is o sorry the sound is o o sound is o louder ma'am o o okay you heard you both huh yeah. salim and ken shibin what is the sound you tell me ken um what's the sound who can go what ma'am who can go ken shibin what is the sound Hello. What is this sound? I'm on mute, ma'am. Ma'am, it is not clear in the board, ma'am. That because of network connection, ma'am. Don't know why. Don't believe me. Ma'am, you. What? louder ma'am you holy crap write this 100 times this is o oh, in position write it start writing now Start writing now. Stand up and write. Ma'am, can you repeat what I want to write? It is very clear that you can understand what I am saying. Okay, don't pretend. Okay. That he heard. So, this is a sound o and. and also can teach your brother some discipline to not to disturb you when you are learning and don't disturb my class you also learn some discipline and i need this before you sleep and you are going to stay with the 10 standard students so what is this that we are learning today is this one is o and this these two sounds written in the same way is o oh. clear yes ma'am yes ma'am no i think it's time for us to leave so what is your responsibility is when for example if we consider all these consonant sounds here and coupling the monophthongs written here the b sound like this b okay b b whatever you can choose this or this but you should know what is that sound 
bow. Likewise, you write all the consonant sounds. You write all the consonant sounds by applying this one of tongues, four one of tongues. Done. This is a homework. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, should we write in uh, Malayalam? Uh... If it is comfortable to you, you can write Malayalam. If you don't want, that is perfectly okay. But I want the right sound when I ask you next week. That's the intention. You can choose any method of learning. But when I show you these combinations of consonants and one of tongues, you must be able to read it the, with the right sound. Got it? Yes, huh? yes, That's it. If you're learning in this way, you will learn every combina combinations of one of tongues and if tongues in one week time. All right, we'll continue with the next set of monof tongs and diphthongs next week. Um, so Ken uh, Shibin and uh, who is the other one? Muhammad Salim, stay in the classroom. Others can leave. Ken and Muhammad Salim is supposed to join my next class, which is starting in five minutes time. If I don't see you, I'll be reporting this. Ma'am. Can you repeat the homework? Who is asking? Benedict. Yes, Benedict. Um, I'll can show you. you. We have written down all the consonant sounds, right? So along with the consonant sound, you have to join the monophthongs that is in this box now. Like this. Like this, you write all the consonant sounds with this one, this one of tongue, and learn how to read it, which means A to Z. We don't have vowels in this list. Remove vowel sounds, all the other consonant sounds. Clear? If there is any doubt, I think Lynette can explain you after the class. Isn't it, Lynette? All right. So thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. And you. Ken, and you. Ken and the other boy, Mohammed Salim, I'm expecting you. If I don't see you, that will be a big problem. <laughs>